Peter Panfield here. Today I want to give you a glimpse into the emerging world of alternative power architectures that are taking hold in the data center industry. No question today's facility owners and designers are in a quest to improve their capital efficiency, manage their costs, improve the way they deal with outages, increase their uptime. This short video is a brief, it gives you a look into the emerging power architectures that we're seeing. The, the trend is to start with what you've got and then put in place uh, a scalable infrastructure. Now, some of these architectures have advantages and disadvantages. Um, they, they range from reserve bus architectures, commonly referred to in the industry as N plus one. Um, but remember, uh, they're always built on the basic uh, 2N architecture. Now, those architectures are gonna have variations. They exist in how you maintain them, how you expand them, how you deal with them from a service standpoint. So you can choose from dedicated reserve, shared reserve, or distributed reserve. The difference in each has to do with how the client applications are connected, how the distribution network is configured, and how you support that power architecture from your infrastructure. Now, others may find the preferred solution is driven by a quest to maximize deployment speed and incremental capacity. Now, we always are after incremental uh, building blocks that allow you to expand as your customers and your applications demand. Now, these customers, they demand mobilization, they demand small power module sets, they want to be able to increment in small building blocks, but they don't want to impact the overall availability. Remember, taking the data center down, bad. Another strategy that leverages the increasing role of high uh, voltage DC power. Now, I saw high voltage DC power is really a, a play to increase the utilization rate. Now, it may have some compelling benefits that you want to take a look at. Now, few things in our industry stay idle for very long. Um, the, the ones that are introduced here are showing some significant success in reducing costs and in creating that speed of deployment. Again, it's all about capital efficiency. Now we have more details on each of these alternative architectures. I encourage you to learn more about the emergency power architectures. Um, take a look at our HPage report. If you've got some questions, reach out to me. I know you will. And thanks so much for your time.